Today we're checking out some of the best and most impressive Figma plugins that are going to be super useful, automate your tasks and even introduce AI features into Figma. So without further ado, let's just get started. The first one is really creative. It's called the command line for Figma called Louis. And Louis is super, super useful because I'm going to tell you why. If I open Louis for Figma from the plugins panel right here, I'll get a little box right here, which gives you a prompt. For example, I want to enter some UI components right here. For example, I want to say uh, navigation bar. Okay, navigation bar is something that I want to design or create. And as you guys can see, it has automatically generated a navigation bar, named it, added auto layout to it, and of course, organized it with these elements right inside here. So you can probably put like a logo here, then you have these items on the side. Now this isn't perfect because you really can't define too much here. But the fact that it is able to generate not only UI designs, but anything that you want, right here is fantastic now since our now since our theme today is somehow ma magical and ai magician is one of those tools or plugins that i'm super excited gonna be launching soon they already opened their early access program so you can request access but the crazy thing is that it can do whatever you type in you want to make a ui design just by typing and describing you can do that this is that magical tool that i've been waiting for almost a year maybe even more and it's absolutely fantastic to see it materialize in real life. It's called Magician. What better name to give it? And it's coming soon on a Figma community near you. Now, this next one is pretty useful. It's called Fig Done. And it's no, it's not a magical tool, but what it does is truly magical. It allows you to define different states on different parts of your work. So if a screen is still being created or designed, you can always mark it as doing. And if a screen has been done, it's finished, you can mark it as done. This creates so much clarity in your designs and I think it's super useful. For example, I have this screen right here, frame one, and it'll enlist whatever frames I have. So I'll put out another frame, it automatically detects another frame. So as we are designing, it automatically detects what we're designing and how it's working. Now, each frame has, if you click on each frame, it'll take you to that frame, that is also useful and you can set a status. So it already has a bunch of status cancelled, uh, blocked, done. And the best part is it attaches these little emojis to the frame name based on what is being done. So yellow means doing, to do means gray, blocked means red, and it looks like it's blocked. And the best part is you can even filter these out. So if I want to see only the done ones, it'll show me only the done ones. Now this is definitely one of those plugins that I that I assure you will be using more often. It's not just a one-time use. So go ahead, check, check Fig Done out. I think it's a simple tool which does something super amazing. Now this next one has been trending on Twitter, on LinkedIn, etc. It's called HTML to Design. And the fact is that this tool can take any, any website that you pick from the internet, you paste in a URL or a domain and you get the final design in it, in all its glory with all the Figma, with all the essential Figma constraints. So if there's auto layout applicable, it'll apply auto layout to certain designs. If there are columns, it'll apply columns. I'll quickly show it to you guys by converting a certain website. I really like product hunts website and I think it's really clean and neat and it will work perfectly with this plugin as well. So I'll put in the URL. I will choose the device I want. So okay, MacBook Pro 14 inch fine or this or you can do a custom device. I would prefer doing a custom device with 1440 pixels of width and the theme is light. So once you do that, you say import to canvas. And as long as it doesn't have too many errors or any problems with the actual website, it will import it successfully. As you can see, once it's done working, it has imported the entire Product Hunt website. It has a few bugs here and there. For example, the height might not be adjusted uh, perfectly, but as you can see, the designs are essentially perfect. I will try and put a screenshot of the actual website and of this uh, design side by side just so that you can check out the difference barely any it has imported almost everything perfectly the alignment is perfect uh, it has been grouped perfectly all right so this next one is as promised called favorite fonts and i personally was working on a plugin i was developing and coding a plugin which i was sh sharing on instagram that is exactly the same thing so i'm a little salty that someone took it out before me but 
I'm excited that it's out. Uh, Figma does not have any sort of saving fonts or adding a font library. So this is the next be best thing. So essentially what it does, it allows you to select any font from your device right here. So I like certain sans serif fonts, for example, I might like something like Futura and I'll favorite this. So if I go to my favorites, I'll be able to see Futura. This is a perfect implementation, easy, easy. And I can apply any of these fonts from here. So if I want to apply a font here, say bold italic like this, uh, it will apply it right here. There are some issues with this, of course, it's not bug free, but it's actually pretty good and, it's, and it works like it says. Now this next one is called Spectrum. They have an official website which you can use as a web generator of sort. If you put uh, this right by any of these, I can apply a certain palette, whatever palette I like, and I can say apply palette and it will apply it to, no matter how lengthy a project is, it will apply it to it. Now you can work with hues, you can apply a custom palette like this, it will apply a custom palette to your designs as well. You can even choose a base color and this will suggest you colors around this with uh, with the correct kind of harmony, with the correct number of colors, etc. You can choose that as well. Or you can just go a cappella and say shuffle. Now, you, now it also allows you to export this. So it'll, you'll have it right besides the project right here, which I think is super useful. I also love the fact that it is a little aware of what it is applying the colors to. Now the next one is called Supa Snapshot from the Supa series. I love Supa color palette, I love Supa gradients and this is the third tool by Angelo. It simply converts your designs into these cool mockups that you can share on Dribble, Behance, etc. And it does this with full customizability with the 2D aspects. It gives you full freedom on background colors and gradients. It, go it even helps you add textures and make your designs and backgrounds look cool. And it even has the ability to export in different formats. Now, now I personally wasn't able to get a hand on it. It's still in like a waiting list or like an invite only kind of thing. I'm sure Angelo will be watching this and I would appreciate an invite to this. But I love this tool. I love all the other tools in this range of Supa. The Supa series is incredible. Go check this out. I think it's really cool for everyone to see. Okay, so I'm super duper excited for this next one. It's called Parallax. And this is a tool I'll be creating a full tutorial on. If you want that, make sure you comment down below that. We want a tutorial on Parallax. So this plugin right here is a neat little tool to convert any design any design into a parallax effect and i think that's it and i think that's really cool i have these bunch of 3d icons that i've placed right here above this hello viewer tag like this and all i need to do is select the frame i'm just gonna run this real quick just to show you how it works and then we'll go on to the next one and all you need to do is select a frame like this then you can see that it move with parallax right here how how amazing and quick that was. You can change the direction it moves in, so it's only moving like this, uh, it's only moving top to bottom, whatever you want, you can do that, inversion. So basically it'll move in the opposite direction, which I think is really trendy these days. The only downside is that the export animation is actually a pro account feature. So I don't have that right now, but one thing you can always do is just take a screen recording and if you want to share it with somebody, do it. But if you want it for like actual purposes, then you can export the animation with a pro account. Now, apart from that, if you're a pro user, you have a really cool other things as well. You have these fully made designs and UI. Uh, if you horizontally scroll, if you horizontally scroll, you'll see more examples of these. I think it, they're very, very well made. And I like the designs overall, even though you might be able to use some of these in your actual projects as well. And I like the implementation. There's a lot of hard work gone in some of these. I know because this snow is not easy to make. That was it for today's video, guys. I hope you like this video. I will see you every week just like this. And I hope to bring more joy and learning to you guys. Thank you for all the support. Make sure you like this video. If you did, make sure you put a comment down below. I often read comments. so. I so make sure you write whatever you want and I'll see you next time, same place, same time. Until next time, take care. God bless.